To understand how a capacitor charges and discharges, you first have to understand what a conductor is. A conductor, like copper, can easily accept electrons or give up electrons. These are two copper plates and they're separated by a space which could be air or plastic or paper and a good capacitor will always have infinite ohms between the plates. And here's the color scheme I'm going to use. The molecules that are not charged are going to be blue. And what we're going to see is no electrons will pass between the two plates. Now I have added a battery and instantly current starts to flow from the negative part of the battery to the left plate and we can see electrons flowing into the left plate but notice on the right plate there's also electrons flowing there and when that happens on the negative side the left side we see the molecules accepting electrons and on the right side electrons are being given up and they're headed toward the battery. Here I have magnets representing electrons and when we add more on the left plate which makes it negative it repels the electrons on the right making that plate more positive. Of course this current increases rapidly and soon we have one negative plate and one positive plate and then when that happens the capacitor is fully charged and the current stops. Now I have taken out the battery and put in a resistor and electrons will flow from negative to positive and it will ramp up quickly and as this happens you can see that the capacitor is discharging and when the capacitor is discharged completely there is no charge on either plate. Here I have added an AC generator and the same rules apply but what makes this difference is the voltage keeps changing in amplitude and also in direction. What I want you to remember from this video is that when we used DC or when we used AC no electrons flowed between the plates. Thanks for watching.